Alright guys, so you remember that series I started a couple years ago called Things That Scare Jack? This recipe is one of them. I don't know if it's going to turn out well. I have no idea. But I know it's, it's super simple to do. We're going to be using the Instant Pot for making yogurt. Alright, so now you guys are asking, well why don't you use the Ninja Foodie? I can use the Ninja Foodie, but it doesn't have a yogurt button and there's other things you got to do. It's just a little bit more confusing. There's extra steps. So I brought out my Instant Pot so that I could do it with the yogurt button and just follow the recipe exactly like it says because both the devices are a little bit different. So this officially does yogurt. That does yogurt, but you got to tweet. You use different settings when you're cooking. So this is how to make yogurt in an Instant Pot. Now, if you want Greek yogurt, you'll have to strain your yogurt because that's what Greek yogurt is. The water's taken out of the yogurt. You get a thicker substance. But we're going to be um, using just a few ingredients. You'd be surprised how simple this is. So come in close and let me show you the few ingredients we're using today and then we'll get started, okay? Here's the funny part, are you ready? All right, there's only two things you need to make yogurt, is milk and yogurt. <laughs> My wife goes crazy. I am not making yogurt if I have to put yogurt in my yogurt to make it. Literally, seriously, she's totally against it. So these two things make yogurt. These two things, the vanilla, oops, there we go. <laughs> the vanilla and the condensed milk down below, that's for flavoring. Um, you can put vanilla in, you can put almond in, you can put lemon in. So what you need is, the reason why we're using a little bit of this Greek yogurt is there's cultures, uh, kind of like a bacteria, you're going to be a good bacteria. You're going to be growing in your Instant Pot, all right? So you need a starter, so you get a little bit of the bacteria that's in here. Make sure the yogurt you use has live cultures in it, all right? It's usually the Greek plain yogurt, and that's what I have right here. And make sure your milk is full fat whole vitamin D milk. We're using the organic one. So you guys ready to start cooking? All right, let's do it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you start this recipe is sterilize everything. I'm not touching this pot because we've already sterilized it. You want you to get your whisk that you're gonna need. You're gonna sterilize that. I want you to get your thermometer that you're gonna to use to measure the milk temperature. I want you to sterilize that. Clean everything with hot soapy water and dry it off nice and then let's get started because we're going to be growing cultures in here and we don't want any bad bacteria from anything, okay? All right, first thing you're going to do is boil your milk. So the recipe asks for eight cups of milk. That's four cups. All right, what you want to do is put your lid on. Make sure it's locked in. Come back here where the valve is and set it to venting. You want the valve open during this process, okay? There, it's on boil. Okay, press your yogurt button until it says boil. Let it get to boil. Okay, so the boil function beeped on here. When it beeps, check the temperature and make sure the milk is above 180. You don't need it all the way to 212 where it boils. But as long as the milk is over 180, which this is, that's the beeping it does, but ours is over 180, so we're gonna now do the cooling process. So we're gonna take this insert out carefully, we're gonna set it off to the side and let it cool to 110 degrees, then meet me back here. Okay, so now that we've boiled the milk, cooled the milk down to 110 degrees, we've taken a cup of milk because we're gonna do some tempering. We're gonna put all our flavors in here and we're gonna put the two tablespoons of yogurt with live cultures in here. And then we're gonna mix it up and throw it back in the batch, okay? So let's do that right now. So first we have our, our yogurt with live cultures. Throw that in there. They recommend you for flavoring, you can put vanilla in. So we're gonna throw that in. And if you want a little more flavor, you can do some condensed milk. But remember, the condensed milk is just an extra. It has a little bit of sugar in it, so 
if you're really trying to stay away from sugar, don't put this in, okay? And you can pour that in. Okay, then take a sterile whisk and mix it all together. Give it a few minutes of stirring. Now, once your mixture is all mixed together, you're gonna pour it back into the main mixture. And you're gonna gently stir this. Get this all mixed in. Okay, now we're gonna do the, the long cooking process. So let's get our lid back on. Make sure it's locked. Make sure the vent is still open. Now press the yogurt button until it says eight. And that basically is setting you up for uh, an eight hour countdown. So go ahead and wait for that to start. If you have a start button, press it. If you have automatic start, then just wait. That's automatic start right there. And let it cook for the next eight hours. If you want it thicker, go another two hours if you want. Here it is. Wow, that's really good. It's tangy too. So what you wanna do is, once you're done making this batch, get a small container and get like two tablespoons out of here for the next batch, all right? And then you can play with different flavors and put different fruit in there after you're done with it. Uh, you can flavor it while it's cooking. There's a million things you can do to this recipe. Right now we did kind of a normal plain version, all right? So now I get to jar this up and it should last about two weeks in the fridge. Uh, let me know what you think. Try this out. Everybody's got an instant pot. So I'm sure you'll be trying this like next week, all right? I love you guys and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.